Hey guys, what is going on? Ip of Rage Quit TV. We do have a spawn spawning as the blue Protoss DD. Spawning as the red Terran. This is Shakura's Plateau. Response bottom left, DD. Top right. It is going to be a TVP. It is tied 1 to 1 right now in the Goof War StarCraft 2 finals. DD, we'll see what he does. The first game, he went with like this heavy marine pressure. Early on, 5 racks. You may have seen it before. I haven't. But the next game, he did kind of go for a 3 racks expansion. Didn't work as a, well, response got the Colossus before DD had that mass of Vikings to uh, take out the Colossus before the Colossus take out Marines. Which, uh, Colossus take out Marines faster than any Viking will ever take out Colossus. Just because that AoE splash is like, oh wait, 4 Marines, 4 Marines, 4 Marines. Yeah, they take them out that quickly. And the Vikings are like, Colossus, Colossus. Colossus. It's just so slow compared to how fast Colossus take out Marines, but in fairness, they are different money values and stuff, so I see the issue, but Colossus kind of take out Marines no matter what. If DD had like mass Marauders in his Vikings, I think it would have been a completely different story, but no, he built like three reactors and uh, was just too much for him. He is going for a barracks, doesn't have any gas at 13, so he's either going to do that early aggression again, or he's going to go for a 1 racks fast expand. It is on a fairly big map. I think he'll go 1 racks expand. But he may not. He did win game number 1 with that early aggression. Kind of convincingly. So. May just be confident with that build. Like well you didn't hold it off game number 1. Was quick. I want quick matches. Quick matches are always good. Late at night. Especially quick matches that I win. I know quick matches that I lose to a 6 pool is possibly the worst thing ever. So, well, he is going to possibly be doing that. He is getting a depot now at 16 food and uh, going to keep producing those moves. I think he could delay this depot just a little bit. And that probe does get in the base. Is he going to make it to the gas? Is he going to see this depot? SCV is coming off so he can try to take that probe out. And yes, he does. The probe doesn't see a gas here, but DDE could have been mining gas here. Nice call by that SCV. He goes back to mine. What a loyal SCV. Those things are so obedient. Mining minerals, mining minerals, mining minerals. Oh, man. Go kill it. Okay. Kills the probe. Yes, I killed the probe. Do I get any ceremony? No. Go back to mine. And he's like, what? Okay. Such feels so bad for those workers in this game. And this SCV now getting the complete scout. He's like, I scouted the base. Can't come back home? No. You got to go till you die, man. And this he's like, what? Okay, man, I'm going to keep radioing in. When you see something you like, tell me to come home. He's like, okay, well, that's enough. You can come halfway home, because I don't think D's going to pull all the way back. I think he's going to hide his SV. Yeah, he's going to hide his SV and go back in. Eventually. You think the scout's left? No, the scout hasn't left. And he is bunking up, doing a one lax expansion, getting another lax behind that. Double gas this time, so he's going to be much quicker to the stop, uh... Yeah, starport attack. And now that one stalker is out, did he kill that SCV? Yes, he did. I think he died right here. Poor Jebediah. Because Jebediah is always the scouting SCV. Why? I don't know. I just think Jebediah is fun to say. And uh, SCV from DD. Is he going to... There's no way he's going to take a third base already. Looking for a forward pylon, perhaps? I think that's what he's doing. I think he was looking for any type of cheese. So, yeah, not taking a third. Now that second SV is coming, the Stalker, I thought he saw it from that washout, but maybe not. DD sees it. He's like, oh my god, there's two Stalkers here. It goes down very quickly. And, uh, building a Lobo in this gateway. So it looks like response staying on one base while DD does go on two bases. And now, uh, getting Marauders doesn't have anything on this base. Possibly going to be a factory right now. Looks like it will be. And, yep, there goes that factory for DDE. And, uh, Dark Shrine. So there's Dark Templar Rush is coming. Even gets this Robo Facility for the Warp Prism. So, is going to possibly warp in the back of DDE's base with DTs. Assuming if, well, the wood missile turrets, they'd probably be at the front of the base, not the back. DD does have two command centers. Is he going to be saving up for those mules? We'll find out. And that stalker attacking this SV. The SV does go down. 
And well, these Marines and Marauders take out the Stalker. Free kill for DD there if you count that SCV as being nothing. But that does delay it. Response who does want this attack delayed. Doesn't want all the forces in here right around the time he can whoop in DT's and uh, DD's base. And DD just delaying it still some more. And the question is, is the DT's going to be spotted before the warp person can get here? Third down scan. Sees one Zealot, one Stalker in the expansion. D something's got to be going off in DD's head. He's like, there's got to be something going on here. What is he doing? He is getting an eBay right now. So as I said, there's got to be something. Doesn't see a sentry. And now that DT is going to start attacking DD's units. And, uh, well, what are they going to be doing? Looks like he is going to find the uh, Dark Shine. I don't know. The Warp Prism now in. Morphing in two DTs in the uh, middle line of DD. DD going in the middle line of response. Bird player is going to be taking out units. DTs one shot those SCVs. SCVs forced to pull back. Mr. Toad's going to be, like, going up. DD does a wall of supply. He was back here. These DTs are just going to do some damage. Nice call for DD, putting off that wall of supply depots. And the DTs are now in the base. And those SCVs, oh, so brave. Mine that gas during the attack. And that one DT looks like it may go down. No, doesn't go down. And DD may just be waiting for some more units so he can throw down a scan. And the same time... We have a response saying, you know what, I can expand behind this. So, expansion does go. DDE has to use another scan to kill the next DT. And oh my god, another one does get morphed in. This could most likely be the game, like, the death blow from response with these DTs. Gonna force a third scan to take this one out. Unless he can daisy chain missile toys. It looks like he does. And, oh, yes, that DT goes down. DD is getting a missile to it, and this DT is going down as well. Another game woofed in, and he's going to try to take the wolf prism out in time, but no, the DT does finish. This missile turret almost done, and looks like the DT will not be able to kill it because this missile turret somehow gives vision, and DT can can uh, DDE can cancel that. Go back to mining. 31 SCVs to 38 probes, but response does have a third base. DD does have double factories. Those DTs did scout that. And he did go for those Templar archives, and now he's getting more gateways. So, Storm's not yet researched. No High Templars out on the field. Now it's being Chrono Booster. Draven is coming out. So, there's going to be this timing where DDE can do a lot of damage, I believe, to the Omi. As we look at this Omi tab, you can see response doesn't really have anything 50 to 61 food. Omi tab is uh, non-existent for response. Has two units to his name for Omi. While DDE, um, yeah, DDE has 26. And those two units, that's one unit because every Protoss unit costs something. He's got, whoa, that was a bad stutter. So he's got one DT, now two to hold the line. To hold all of this, he's got two DTs. Could be one Archon, depending how you look at it. And here we go, the Raven is out. Is DD gonna move out? We will find out. A high template is being made, but still no gateway army. So DD is gonna have this huge army while response doesn't have anything. It looks so good for response. Wasting this third base. 57 probes to 41 SCVs. Response made some mistakes somewhere. DT is coming in. Raven sees it, and now that DT is going down. Keep in mind the uh High Template can feed back this Raven. And now response, getting a lot of zealots in high templars. May try to go like zealot Urkon? I don't know. That may be effective actually. Marines and uh, tanks don't do too well against Urkons. Tanks deal most of the damage thanks to uh, the bonus. As we do see uh, damage 15 versus armor 25. So uh, Urkons, they don't give any bonuses. Marines will die to the storm and then... There's all kinds of ways to demolish them. So I think Response actually has kind of an ideal force to uh, take this out. The question is, does he have enough? And there's tanks going on siege on that high ground. Zealots get taken out so quickly. Storm goes off on those Marines. Marines forced to pull back. But so quick, those storms just decimate so many things. Zealots get up close and personal. Tanks go down. Auto turrets go down. 
And uh, looks like DD is kind of far behind now, possibly. 91 food, 276. So Spawn's defending that just barely, thanks to all the whoop gates he has been building. That's why he didn't have an army. He was ramping up so he could just morph in an army, because who needs one unit doesn't matter when you can morph in uh, nine units. That's 18 food right now that response can morph in. And to throw that in perspective, DD has, uh, let's see, an army of 32. So half of DD's like, army size can be morphed in instantly by response. These Hellions are going to come in. They do have blue flames. Going to take out a lot of those probes. Holy conga line! A lot of probes did go down there. High Temple's coming in. They can feed back this medevac to take it out very quickly. They do a lot of damage while those stalkers do kill it, but uh... No stalkers. Looks like it's going to be Zealot, High Templar, Urkon for response. And I think like Ghost would just completely counter this. And DD is getting some Ghost. Urkons, they're not as bad against Ghost as they were in Brood War. EMP only takes out 100 shield. But they're Zealots. They have 50 shield and then 100 health. So those Hellions will just do so much damage after the EMP goes off. They do 24 damage. So it'll only take like six shots for a Hellion to kill it off. Keep in mind when you have like six Hellions, all those Marines, uh, Zealots will go down so quickly and waste a storm on this medevac. Marines landing, gonna try to pick off anything, but not gonna happen. But he is coming in with two Hellions, gonna try to take out probes in this game. I thought it was over so much earlier, that DTOS was just so good. But uh, DD with his harassment, keeping it even. And more probes do go down to those blue flame hellings. And this one, even ninjing his way through something, almost gets another kill. But no, he doesn't. At the same time, DD looks like he wanted to pick off more stuff, but no, he didn't. Look at count 57 SCVs to 66 probes. 12 workers have been killed by response, 25 have been killed by DDE.